All right, so we're gonna do a quick roundup of some of the tactical flashlights that I have in my collection. Some of these I've had a very long time, uh, as you can see in these couple of pictures here. Um, so the first one we're gonna start out with is actually a fairly new one I've had, uh, the Streamlight HLX Laser. So this light has an integrated laser and it's a uh, thousand lumens. So here you can see the amount of light that it puts out. It's uh, pretty impressive as far as the light output. You can also get the HLX version without the laser, but I figured what the heck, it was on sale and I went ahead and picked this guy up. And uh, of course you can find this at uh, many locations. However, uh, if you so choose, use one of my affiliate links down below and you can pick it up over at Brownells and uh, course there's some coupon codes discount codes stuff like that that are available but here you can see uh, it's roughly about $167 or $176 depending on which one you choose to pick up I do have the one that has the rechargeable USB battery so it's a little more pricey one but uh, so far it's been a pretty good light however it is a little on the heavy side so now we're gonna look at the Arisaka Scout light and this guy is 600 lumens roughly um, and uh, so a lot, a lot less power than your other, most of your other rifle lights out there. However, it is super lightweight. And uh, this guy here, I actually kind of built myself. So I bought the body, and here you can see the body you can actually get from Brownells, as well as other Arasaka parts like their scout mounts, which I prefer 100%. I use those on all my lights if I can. Uh, however, you can also go over to Arasaka's website and you can kind of custom build your own light. So this is kind of their older model. I believe they have a newer one out as well. And uh, it's uh, $180, give or take, depending on the amount of options. And here you can see some different Malkoff heads. And I have the E2HT head, which is 500 lumens, 35,000 candela. And as you can see in the previous video, uh, it puts out quite a bit of light for a home defense situation and uh, I really like how lightweight it is. It's probably the lightest rifle weight light that I have in my collection. All right, so now let's talk about the Cloud Defensive Rain series. So uh, we got the, uh, the Rain, which is the full size. It is 1400 lumens. And then we have uh, the Rain Micro, which is 1300 lumens. So here's a look at the Rain full size and a quick comparison there. Uh, there is the light output. So it is a freaking torch. It throws out some lights. Um, you can see a super hot spot in the middle and you can see just a lot of, of light output on this guy. Uh, it is a little on the heavy side. Um, the Rain Micro is a little smaller, it's a shorter light. And here you can see that guy. And um, you know, it's 1300 uh, lumens, so it's still throwing out a ton of light. Um, but if you want something a little smaller, uh, the Rain Micro is, is really the way to go. In my opinion, you can get these guys with or without some sort of a tape switch. I prefer the clicky tail cap, so that's what I run with. Um, and uh, you can pick these up at a variety of places. Of course, uh, Brown Ales would be my choice on that. You can uh, pick these up when they're on sale and they also sell the um, the tape switches again if that's kind of your thing they also have the optimized what we what weapon light the owl and um, here you can see the uh, full full size rain from cloud defensive and all of the specs and whatnot and um, it is probably the most durable light that I have uh, the rain and the rain micro they are just super well built they are a little heavier a little beefier light um, however, if you want a light that I think will go through um, anything you throw at it, the Rain and Rain Micro, um, and probably the Owl as well. Um, I have no first-hand experience with the Owl as of yet. Um, but uh, yeah, definitely check these guys out. They are super cool lights and um, a little on the pricey side as far as weapon lights go. But you know, as they, they say, you get what, what you pay for. All right, so the last one I'm gonna go over here is the, another Streamlight offering. So it's a small TR, TLR1S. Uh, this S means it has the strobe function, and uh, this light I've had an awful long time. I've used it on pistols, I've used it on some of my 
pistol caliber carbines as well as rifles even um, super durable light not a lot of light output it's um, 300 lumens and uh, however this one has um, been rock solid for many 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 years probably 10 plus years I've had this this particular light and um, you can still get it uh, there are some other options out there that I may recommend uh, above this one if you're needing more light output like the HL model but there is nothing wrong with the TLR1S model. Uh, it has been again a, um, a really good light and uh, you know you can get the TLR1 or the TLR1S uh, if you need the strobing option um, but they uh, and they're they're relatively inexpensive um, or not inexpensive but comparatively speaking to say a surefire model um, but I think the durability and the quality is definitely there with Streamlight. So I, a lot of you guys know that I am a huge Streamlight fan. If uh, there are budgetary concerns, Streamlight is always my go-to. Um, if money is no option, ah, I'm really a fan of the cloud defensive stuff at this point. So, um, all right. So in conclusion, um, you know, this is kind of a roundup of some of the weapon lights that I have. I do have some other ones I didn't throw in here, but um, these are the main ones that, that I, I really uh, believe in and have some uh, uh, strong opinions about. All right. So that about wraps it up. So I appreciate everybody watching, subscribing, and I will catch you all in the next video. Y'all take it easy.